Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. It's a new month, it's the same old me. I took a day off yesterday to deal with some family stuff, nothing serious, all fine, all happy. I thought I could just focus on that and uh, take some time out from the royals, but I'm back. I'm back with the bright and shiny Mystic Mondays tarot deck, even though, oops, it's a Tuesday. Um, probably not a very mystical Tuesday. I don't know where, uh, how you feel about that, you know, where I am, quite a prosaic. Uh, ordinary Tuesday but we are using the Mystic Mondays tarot because it's a bright and shiny tarot deck bling ka-ching kind of a vibe to it and we are looking at the story of the divorce settlement again we've looked at it before uh, but it's back in the news it's going round and round and this one um, says that Meghan Markle this puff piece and I'm sorry I don't know the source of it I think I found it on Reddit but it says that Meghan Markle would receive a fortune if she divorced Prince Harry it is even rumored that there is a prenup that would send a fortune in the way of Markle uh, it's claimed the agreement did not go down well with King Charles, who did not agree with the pre-agreed amount. Bit of word salad there. I wonder who wrote that. Uh, the Daily Mail is speculating it could be $80 million that's on the table. Other sources are saying $40 million. We're going to have a look at it with the Mystic Mondays tarot and see if little Miss Markle is going to find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow or not. Um, prenups aren't really a thing in the UK so much. I don't know if they're even legal. I'm not sure. Here in this country, we call them anti-nuptial contracts. Uh, pretty routine. Um, but I think they're not so common or even not allowed in the UK. Uh, don't quote me on that. But uh, whatever the case is, it's meant to some, some quite interesting divorce cases in, in the UK because they've had to divide up stuff. Um, and, you know, those kind of billionaires uh, finding a new trophy wife, that kind of scenario. Um, so we want to know what's going on. We want to know if, first of all, there is a prenup in place between Harry and Meghan, some sort of agreement between them. Uh, like this rumoured agreement that Harry and William would share the Duchy of Cornwall. Uh, it doesn't have to be one that's signed and sealed. Uh, it's one that Harry and Meghan think, or Harry thinks it's been signed and sealed even. And uh, how does King Charles feel about this alleged agreement? And um, where is the story coming from? Who is the author of the story and why? Is this some kind of a threat to the royal family? Uh, pay up or else? And uh, will they pay up or else? Uh, is she going to get tons of money if they ever divorce? Speculating, of course, and of course it's just tarot for fun and entertainment. It's all my opinion. It's all speculation. And uh, disclaimer in the box below. And of course I read energy. I left that bit out. I read energy. And I do read energy. And it's archetypal energy in this case. Because we're talking about the royals. And uh, Fergie didn't get much. Diana didn't get much. So it'd be interesting, but it looks like the squeeze is on. Pay up or else, and the or else is going to be in part two of today's readings, the book that she is threatening. So we'll get there, allegedly threatening. We have the High Priestess as our underlining uh, energy, mysteries and secrets. And somebody who thinks she might uh, just hold all the power, the aces, up her sleeve, her mysterious sleeve here with the High Priestess. Um, that uh, is quite a sinister card uh, in this context. For me as a reader, the energy coming off it is, um, if you don't play nice, I won't play nice. I know stuff. That's what's coming to me from that card. Uh, do you really want me to tell all the things that I could tell about you? You lizard people, you. I'm being sarcastic, of course. And, um, you know, <laughs> we haven't gone there yet uh, on this channel. Uh, but anyway, I'm joking, of course. Uh, but she knows stuff. Well, she thinks she knows stuff. And she thinks she holds all the power 
the High Priestess. So let us see what are we dealing with today. The 1st of August, it's her birthday coming up. We'll be sure to read on that. What is the story today? What are we dealing with? We're dealing, ooh, we're dealing with the Empress in reverse. That's not such a positive female energy. It's toxic femininity, the Empress in reverse, in fact. Um, it's somebody who's uh, quite mean, not... Uh, she she's using her feminine wiles for all the wrong reasons empress in reverse it can be um, somebody who's a, a bit out of luck financially because it, a, empress a, upright is about abundance creativity um uh, being a valued and having value but if she's in reverse she either values all the wrong things she's very materialistic I wonder who that could be. Um, or she has no inherent value. And again, I wonder who that could be. So um, there it is. Interesting how this energy is not reflected over there. This is the, the truth of the situation, I would say. And um, doesn't bode well for the has-been if he thinks he signed that agreement or if there is such an agreement stashed away somewhere in a jurisdiction where such agreements are valid. Who knows where they got married and under what circumstances and who signed what. Really, lots of speculation around that. So let's see, is there a prenup between Harry and Meghan for an eye-watering sum of money should they divorce? We've got Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is quite a, quite a, a, an action card, a, a sudden and decisive action. Um, it's not contracts, it's not money, but it is a surprise. Um, almost as if uh, out of the blue, suddenly someone whips a contract out and says, here, sign. And, um, or else. A very, very sudden turn of events, charging in with this uh, document and saying, here, um, it's again giving me a bit of a hmm feeling like this high priestess is giving me a hmm feeling it's uh, a little bit hasty it's a little bit uh, risky uh, knights of swords always for me is a dangerous energy as a dangerous character because it's um, quite self-serving energy and so I think if there is a document floating around, it might be a surprise to quite a lot of people. Um, it might have been signed in haste and repented at leisure, that saying. Um, that's my opinion, of course, always my opinion here. Yeah. So let's see, how does the royal family, Charles, it would have been the queen once, how, how does the royal family feel about any such document that may or may not exist? And any amounts that may or may not be offered. Princess of Cups. Uh, it's not particularly threatening. It's an emotional card, the Page of Cups. This is somebody, I almost think that they think it's somebody trying to uh, pull a bit of a stunt, an emotional stunt. Because Page of Cups is communication, but it's, it's um, trying to woo, trying to seduce, trying to insinuate, trying to be... Uh, uh, ingratiate themselves so I, not threatened not threatened at all um, uh, also it's quite an, a childish acid, uh, energy page of cups and uh, they might look at it and think that's um, uh, quite a juvenile stunt that's being pulled or, or uh, an attempt to manipulate because cups often have that manipulative energy, but it's not very compelling. Um, it's not very dangerous. We're not really going to fall for it. Um, so let's see why now that all this talk and where it's coming from, what's going on behind the scenes, really, with this energy. We've got the Five of Cups. This is someone who's very, very unhappy, very bitter, very focused on what they have lost and regretful about the way things have played out and so this is coming from a place of sorrow from a place of discontent dissatisfaction more than that um very focused on what they've lost and i would say that is megan's energy i can't imagine who else would be sending out these kinds of pieces to the press 
um, and making these kind of wild claims. And between the Knight of Swords and the Pr Pr Princess of Cups, I can't speak, we've been singing and I've lost all ability to speak right now. Um, uh, Knight of Swords and the, and the Princess of Cups, I get a wild energy, wild claims. Not saying it uh, doesn't exist, it never happened, but certainly being blown up um, suddenly by this very unhappy person. It's, it's more from, from a spite and bitterness that this, this is coming out than a calculated ploy. There are some very strategic cards in the tarot. That is not a strategic card. That is somebody actually doing something even slightly stupid because they are so focused on their own sense of grievance in the Five of Cups that they don't see clearly about anything. Um, so sense of grievance there in that Five of Cups and wild claims. That's how I'm reading this. And uh, let's see what the outcome is. Is Meghan Markle going to make off with $80 million from the royal family or from has been? I don't think has been's got $80 in his pocket at this point. But let's see. Uh, what kind of amount is she going to make off with? She's also claiming in this article she wants to keep her title and remain a member of the British royal family if they divorce. <laughs> um, five of Cups. Uh, okay, so let's see. Money. What kind of money is she going to make off with? we got the Emperor in reverse. Um, that's uh, a, st a stratagem that has failed. That's ego. That's uh, unbridled ego. The Emperor in reverse. Um, it is not a money card. And we're talking from her point of view. I'm not talking from King Charles's point of view. If I was reading this and saying, oh, it was King Charles's card, the emperor in reverse, that would be the undoing and the ruin of the king and the collapse of the British royal family having to pay $80 million uh, to Meghan Markle. Um, no, the emperor is about plans and stratagems and organizing things. And uh, it's chaotic and disorganized when it's in the reverse and as I said earlier it's come from a place of ego destructive ego um, so I think we've got ego out of control here but I don't think that this plan is going to work out let's just clarify let's ask again um, my interpretation of this is that we've got a matching pair an empress and an emperor who are in reverse here um, that would be Harry and Meghan. It could, it could fall hard on Harry, this. It could be his energy that um, he could be, uh, have some trouble with this. Ultimately, he could look bad, uh, Emperor in reverse, if he doesn't play along with this whole thing and pay up. Um, it could make it reflect very badly on Harry. Uh, but they, they both in their shadow aspect here, this matching pair who are in reverse here with the five of cups sitting between them. Um, so let's see, let's just ask again. Uh, is she going to wait, make off with $80 million or $40 million or $0? Uh, assuming that there is a divorce. That card came out quite quickly and another one has plopped out over here. I'm going to take both and just see what we've got. We've got uh, no, that's a double no. Um... Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Sun in reverse. Nine of Pentacles is the, the independent woman who's uh, made for life, basically. Uh, peacocking her way around there, but it's in reverse. Uh, she's not made for life. She didn't. She's not going to walk out of this um, provided for for life in the sense of her private yacht and her uh, uh, private jet, sorry, and her super yacht and uh, whatever else she thinks she should have. Um, definitely not. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who feels really uh, insecure financially, who's very alone, um, very concerned about their financial future, doesn't know where their money is going to come from um, to secure their future. And we've got the sun in reverse that, that flopped out, probably off camera. Uh, but it came out in reverse, the sun in reverse, that's her. And the sun is one of the money cards because it's about abundance, like the empress. It's about joy and happiness and everything uh, being wonderful. And it's in reverse, so misery, de de depression, destitution even. Uh, so I've got double, double cards here telling me that she is not 
going to um, make off with large sums of money from the British royal family. It's probably plans that have gone awry, the emperor in reverse, but it's probably also Harry is going to look bad in this situation. Um, he could look bad just because he has got no money. And there's no reason why the royal family should step up if there is some sort of arbitrary, uh, or, uh, not arbitrary, but quite ramshackle agreement between Harry and Meghan. Uh, there's no reason why the royal family should honour something that probably shouldn't be honoured, in my opinion. I'm speculating, of course. But um, if he doesn't honour whatever agreement Meghan claims there is, he is going to look bad. Uh, he's going to look very bad, but she's still not going to... And get away with whatever she's trying to get away with whatever plan she has laid she perhaps not on her own but there's the triumvirate we saw in toronto at the um invictus games all those years ago cooking something up it looks like they uh, aren't going to get the big payday that they were counting on either this is my opinion my speculation there it is that's the reading and uh, so let's move on to the next one and see what she's cooking up in her book she's going to be writing.